Hello and welcome to another redstone tutorial, this time on a cool and simple hidden portal design that I've come up with. As you know, nether portals is something that every Minecraft player should have in their base. The problem with them is that they are noisy, obnoxious and ugly, so you want to hide them. So I found this very nice way to hide them. As you can see, there's a nether portal here. But it's just a staircase. There's nothing suspicious in it. You can walk up and down, no problem. But once you press this button, it turns into an air portal that you can go into. It. As you can see, it retracts a portion of the floor with pistons and it goes back to normal. So I'm gonna show you how to build it really fast. First, let's look at the design without any building on it, just a simple, pure redstone. As you can see, it's pretty compact. It uses a bunch of sticky pistons, well, nine, no, seven, actually eight, because there's one here, so I met the truth halfway. Um, but generally, it's just like a couple of repeaters and a bunch of redstone. There's nothing complicated in it. I'm gonna show you how to build it from scratch. So first, you want to have your nether portal done and it needs to be at least 9 blocks wide like this because it works the best with the redstone and as to the height, you can do it however height you want it to be because it's not really relevant in terms of redstone wiring I think I did it 9 by 8 I'm not sure, I don't want to count Now, when you have this ready you put in some blocks to put your wiring on like this two blocks at the sides of this row have to be extended one up now you put sticky pistons like this on these blocks and then a dispenser here and here you run your redstone like this you don't need them on top way up there now you want to make your control panel panel <laughs> panel behind here you just place some blocks like this it's gonna be a memory unit that remembers if the doors, uh, if the nether portal is on or off and you need some redstone repeaters going into it so that the signal is basically here and doesn't power anything that it doesn't need to power. By default you want it to be powered on this side though, so that you can actually hook it up already to the pistons with a slab like this. And the pistons are now extended. Now you need your own switch. Your own switch goes on this side and you need basically just blocks like this. Repeater going through by this block so that it doesn't this block when it's powered it doesn't power the system back. And one going into here but with a delay on it. And then you run redstone basically everywhere else. And this is your own switch done. You you might want to put a button already, but that's up to you. <laughs> Because you don't have to power it right here, you just have to, you can make it go anywhere you want. Now, you need a block here for the off switch and a bunch of blocks around. Well, actually, I did that for a second there. Blocks here and blocks here, like this. Now, this is more complicated. You need a monostable circuit here with a block and a Redstone repeater going into it, redstone repeater, go, redstone repeater going into this block here and out of this block here with two delay on it. Two delay I say. And you need redstone here, one redstone dust here and some here basically for the wiring. And now you need to connect this to here, add three delay on this. Insert a water bucket into the right dispenser, insert your flint and steel most likely more of them so that you don't have to exchange them uh, so often and this is it press this and it lights up press this and it it goes away so now the only thing left to do is to add your staircase on top of it which is very simple uh, you need to remember just a couple of things for example that you need well these pistons need to push something but your wall is like indented uh, one block as opposed to the portal here and every second row 
here will be obviously full blocks like this and every other slabs like this with an exception of this level here where you need slabs like this because will uh, the piston arms will be visible if you don't do that if you're fine with your piston arms visible then you should leave it open but obviously you shouldn't be fine with your pistons visible in a secret portal right and you basically need to remember not to put anything inside this portal frame apart from these blocks which are being pushed by the pistons uh, because otherwise the portal will not light up but otherwise you're free to decorate it however you want I recommend using obsidian in the walls for um, just the looks because then the portal will not look as out of place as it does without anything like this and well basically that's 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 it for the tutorial as you can see it works perfectly well with all the blocks placed around and the staircase is perfectly functional when the portal is off so uh, I hope you find it useful I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope uh, to see some comments from you about this design maybe some feedback and also if you liked it you could leave a like and subscribe because there will be more tutorials coming along and for now, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.